Today's video is from here in the DCR cave in Amsterdam and it's all about the kicker bike. You may recall my earlier videos on the kicker bike where I rode through the Llama lab test and in erg mode, the bike reported smooth power. So it was reporting the set point in erg. So for example, the 200 watt steady state just reported 200 watts, not actually what I was doing on the pedals, 250, flatlined, and my overs and unders were very, very squared off. A recent firmware update has been released for the Kicker Bike. Version 1.4.0 is out. I've performed the update and a second Llama lab test here in the DCR cave. A quick overview of the changelog here from Wahoo for firmware 1.4.0, and it's dot point number one we're looking at today, which is firmware support added for enabling or disabling ERG mode power smoothing. They've also added firmware support for sending odometer data for remote diagnostics and some bug fixes for tilt calibration. But it's dot point number one we'll be diving into today. Onto the update process, and once connected to the Kicker Bike via the Wahoo Fitness app, it'll prompt here for the update. It will pull down the firmware, perform the update, and away we go. A very similar process to that of all other Wahoo products, such as the Kicker, the Core, and everything else. Once complete, we now have the toggle switch there for erg mode power smoothing. So we can toggle that off or back on. Today we'll be turning it off for my tests and it's worth noting the erg mode power smoothing option is only a visual change for power reporting. The on bike, on pedal experience doesn't change. Okay, cranking out some watts here on Titans Grove as the warm up. It's a really great course Titans Grove with the up and down hill simulations. Really gets the legs warmed up for the Llama Lab test and the trainer and its components warmed up too. You can see there's a few red sections before we get the legs ticking over into erg mode. And into erg mode here on desert flats and you can see on the bottom there, it's not a flat line smooth erg mode. So what we have is real power being reported. Up at the top there, you see it bouncing around plus or minus 10 watts depending on how smooth I am on the pedals but it's not locked into that artificial 200 watts. And here into the overs and unders, they're not squared off either. So for me, I'd much rather have the power reporting of what I'm doing rather than that erg mode smooth enabled. With the Llama lab test now complete with the new firmware, let's jump over here to the DCR analyzer tool to see how the bike stacks up against the Asioma duos that were on the bike at the same time. So standard Llama lab test here, which we should be all familiar with, using the Titans Grove course as the warm up for the first 10 minutes. So this is sim mode, so not a test of the erg mode, but it does give us an indication of how accurate the bike is up against another set of Asiomas. So 270 versus 270, Titans Grove, all looking pretty good there. And then into what we need to have a look at today, which is the erg mode performance. Jumping in here to the steady states and the sprints and all looking as expected. It's not flatlining from the bike, which was what was happening previously with erg mode smoothing on. Now we're getting more real power from the bike. You can see there the jags up and down and the average is looking pretty close to the pedals. So all looking good there. Into the sprint, now this does break out into sim mode, but a good indication of how things perform and that's pretty close there. Onto the 20 second over and unders, which is just here as part of the Llama lab test. And we can see there the power on the pedals and the power coming from the bike reports exactly what I'm doing on the pedals. Not smooth, not an artificial number and flat line. So that's more realistic power reporting with erg mode smoothing turned off. Accuracy wise, within one watt there. So no problems at all with the accuracy. And the final component of the Llama Lab test is the flywheel speed test. On a smart bike, the flywheel is a little different in the way it performs. It's more of an inertial calculation test because it's a single speed, there's no real gear. So it's a virtual gearing test gets a little complicated with these bikes. However, what we have here is a slow flywheel speed test at 225, looking good. Medium flywheel speed test or mid gearing and then a high gearing. So the 5311 simulated there. The experience on the pedals does change a little bit, but the accuracy is still pretty good across the board there. So all good. And finally, for good measure, just to see how this bike does stack up against Ray's Asiomas. Just riding along, just riding along. 232, 234, pff, all looking pretty good there power wise. And the visual summary of that is right here with the mean max power across the board there. So a little bit of difference for about two seconds right there. But other than that, one for one across the board for the whole hour there. Looking good. So there we are. Erg mode power smoothing is now optional on the kicker bike. If you want to turn it on, that's fine. The power reporting out of this thing is pretty accurate. But if you want that 
jagged line with exactly what you're doing, which is what we saw on the pedals as well, there's an option there for you to flip that off and ride on. So there we are. If you own the kicker bike or are looking at getting one, you'll get one probably with the new firmware on it anyway. So good stuff from Wahoo. Keep those updates rolling. All right, thanks for watching. Remember to hit subscribe to be alerted of new videos uploading to my channel and hit that join button to support what I'm up to.